so official cyveria os version 6.2 based on android 13 is rolled out for redmi note 8 and in this video i am going to show its new features customization antutu benchmark score geek pen score safety net status cpu throttling and many more of this cyveria os so let's get into the video as you can see this is redmi note 8 and i have installed cyveria os version 6.2 in it you can see the android version 13 it has december 5 2022 security update talking about kernel it has quicksilver kernel used in this room and build date is of january 8 2023 which is the latest build of now so first of all i'll show you its camera used in this cyveria os there is mi camera pre-installed which is a good thing and portrait as well as 48 megapixel camera is working properly also slow motion night light and other features are working perfectly also you can use google camera in it now let's check the antutu benchmark score of this room in redmi Note 8. and as you can see the score is 209970 which is really an impressive score also the score is better than evolution x room which has score around 2,700. now let's see the geek Pen score and the score for single core is 302 and for multi-core the score is 1322 now let's check safety net status and as you can see safety net status is passed also inside play protect certification device is certified is written there now let's see the result of cpu throttling test and no cpu thermal throttling is detected in this room and as it has a google dialer pre-installed so we won't be able to do auto call recording and we'll receive recording announcement but you don't need to worry about it you can remove that call recording announcement on google phone dialer too for that you can watch my video from the description section below and also flip to silence feature is available in it talking about its user experience and performance as you can see it has smooth user experience scrolling and app opening closing is also smooth and comparatively fast this is the quick setting panel which also have scan qr code tile one-handed mode and dolby atoms in it you can directly access to matlock from here and there is a separate app for game space which have its gaming related features and it looks something like this inside its wallpaper and styles there are some cyberia wallpapers available which looks really good and other features like dark theme themed icons and app grid is present in it and it does not have option for choosing custom dark theme also wallpaper and basic colors feature is also missing in it it has cyberia launcher present in this room and inside its home setting there is icon pack option but cannot change it also other features like use taskbar suggestions double tap on empty space on home screen to screen off options are present in it and by default it comes with three button navigation and we can invert them from navigation bar setting and if you want to use gesture navigation then from system setting you can enable gesture navigation this gesture navigation has new pill length feature which will adjust the length of the pill bar according to our choice it also have hide IME button space option present which will hide the space below the keyboard also we can hide this back gesture animation from here there is haptic feedback option with advanced gesture setting like extended swipe action option which has new customization features like vertical L swipe action which will trigger actions when long swiping on L direction along with long swipe like you can see when I do long swipe from right it will take screenshot and when I do vertical right L swipe then it will open volume panel also inside gesture setting there is quickly open camera one-handed mode press and hold power button for power menu or digital assistant and prevent ringing option we can also update to its latest version directly from its updater section and we are in latest cyberia version 6.2 right now its setting section looks slightly different than other custom rooms it has about phone section at the top and inside Wi-Fi and network there is private DNS available with VPN and hotspot option 
inside its battery setting there is battery uses and you can see the battery uses graph and the battery backup in this room is good you won't face battery drainage problem uh, there is battery percentage option and this does not seem working also battery change warning feature is newly added in this room which will play a sound when battery reaches a level when charging and we can set custom ringtone as well as custom battery level for it inside security both fingerprint and face unlock feature is present in this room also app lock feature is there to use it we need to set screen lock at first and device is encrypted there is Xiaomi parts included which have features like MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration and LCD features with vibration control. This Siberia OS has its own Siberia settings from where we can do lots of customizations in it. From general tweaks we can choose USB configuration settings. Also we can enable higher FPS in games from here and for lights we have battery charging light and notifications light present. And from buttons we can enable advanced restart and can also select what to show on power menu section. In notifications, re-ticker is present with edge light feature and from dialer we can enable blink flashlight for incoming calls. From status bar we can enable this network traffic indicators and if we want to show battery percentage then we can make it appear from here. Inside gesture swipe to a screenshot, toggle torch when screen is off and a new option double tap to doze is present. And from its UI setting, we can do lots of customizations related to animation on QS styles, power menu and on many more. Also, we can get unlimited photos and videos backup feature on Google Photos app in this Siberia OS. So this is all about this latest Siberia OS 6.2 based on Android 13. This ROM is very stable with smooth UI experience with many customizations and you can use this ROM as a daily driver too. So that's it for this video. What do you think about this ROM? You can comment down below. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to our Cracksoid YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.